Hello everyone. In this session, we will be solving quadratic equation by completing the squares. The standard form of quadratic is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. The graph of quadratic is known as parabola. Now, the coefficient of x square, which is a, if a is positive, that is if a is greater than 0, your graph opens up. Whereas if a is less than 0, the graph opens down. Now every parabola has a turning point. It has a turning point and we denote it with the letters hk, where h and k are the coordinates of the turning point. If your graph opens up, so graph opens up this is the minimum it can go if there is no point below this so we say when the graph opens up it has a minimum value and the minimum value is the y coordinate of the vertex which is k similarly if the graph opens down it has a maximum value the graph cannot go there is no point above this point this is the maximum it can reach so it has a maximum and again the maximum is your y coordinate which is k now to find the vertex from your standard form, what we do is we need to complete the squares. When we complete the square, the new form that we will get it is known as the vertex form. And the vertex form is a into bracket x minus h whole square plus k equal to 0. Now we call it vertex form because from here. From this form, you can get the vertex of the parabola. So the vertex will be the number which is inside the bracket h. You will take opposite sign, you write here h. And the outside number, you take same sign. So we get your vertex h, comma k. Now let's see an example to find out the vertex. So if, suppose the equation is x square plus 6x minus 1 equal to 0. Now, we know that there are no factors of 1 that will give you plus 6. So, we need to solve this either by completing the square or by formula. Now, since the coefficient of x square is 1, we will prefer to solve it by completing square method. So, we will follow the steps. Step number 1, you open two brackets, whole square minus whole square. Keep the last term minus 1 as it is. Okay. Now, your x square, we will write here as x plus sign. We will keep it same. If it is negative, we will write negative. 6, we will divide by 2. So, half of 6 is 3. Same number 3, we will write here. So, when you expand the bracket, you will get 3 square. To balance it, we have a minus 3 square here. Now, we combine the constants, so you get here x plus 3 whole square, minus 3 square and minus 1 will give me negative 10 equal to 0. Now, we have the equation in vertex form. Now, since it is in vertex form, I can find the vertex of the parabola. Inside number is plus 3, so I will take the opposite which is minus 3. Outside number is minus 10, take it as it is. So, the vertex of the parabola is minus 3 minus 10. Now, we will continue to solve it. So, to solve it, you will move minus 10 to the right side. So, you will get x plus 3 whole square equal to minus 10 will become plus 10. Now, we will take square root of both sides. Square root of the left hand side will be x plus 3 and square root of 10 will be root 10. When we take square root, we will consider both positive and negative. Now, we will move 3 to the right side. So, positive 3 will become negative 3 plus or minus root 10. So, we will separate and write the two answers. So, x equal to negative 3 plus root 10 or x equal to negative 3 minus root 10. Okay. See.